Donald Trump's possible return to the White House has sparked more than just a political showdown in the United States. It's sending ripples across the Atlantic and causing a major headache for leaders like UK Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer and the European Union. But why exactly are they on edge? Former MEP Ben Habib, a prominent voice in Brexit politics, believes Trump's policies are poised to shake up the entire global order, especially for a UK Labour government under Starmer and for the EU's carefully curated policies. In an article for GB News, Habib claims that Trump's return would mean a full frontal challenge to EU and UK ideals. Let's start with border control. While the EU has largely embraced open border policies, Trump's hardline stance would demand stricter border control. Habib points out that Trump's approach would be a direct contradiction to the EU's model and, as he suggests, it could force European leaders to reckon with an immigration policy more aligned with American priorities than their own. And on climate issues, the differences are just as stark. Trump's push for energy independence and economic growth stands in sharp contrast to what Habib describes as the EU's economically crippling net zero policies. While the EU seeks to lead the way on climate initiatives, Habib argues that Trump's return would disrupt these goals. But Trump's influence wouldn't stop at borders and the environment. According to Habib, Trump's focus on tax cuts, deregulation and reduced government spending is essentially a rebuke to the EU's regulatory approach, which he dubs taxes and spending on steroids. Habib believes these policies are what frustrate Brussels the most a supercharged America that's stripping away the red tape Europe has embraced. Then there's the matter of global diplomacy. Habib argues that Trump's hardline stance on China and Iran would create another clash with the EU. While European leaders lean towards economic ties with China and a more restrained approach to Iran, Trump's policy would aim to put China back in its box and hold Iran accountable, putting Europe in a tricky position on the world stage. Trump's views on NATO could also reignite tensions with Europe. Habib highlights that Trump would likely push European nations to boost their contributions to NATO, a stance that previously caused a fair share of friction with leaders across the continent. And on the cultural front, Habib notes Trump's opposition to woke and identity politics, a stance that could clash with the EU's and Starmer's embrace of social liberal policies. According to Habib, Trump wants woke dead which he claims would unsettle those in Europe who've embedded identity politics into their agenda. To top it off, Habib predicts that if Trump wins back both the Senate and the House, his policy agenda would be nearly unstoppable. This, he says, would be a massive shock to what he calls the liberal anti-nation state brigade. In the UK, Habib suggests that a Trump-led America might encourage Britain to shift away from what he describes as a self-harming socialist orthodoxy under Starmer's government. With America setting an example of prioritising national interests, Habib believes the UK might feel compelled to put itself first as well. Finally, there's a personal twist. Habib couldn't resist taking a swipe at London Mayor Sadiq Khan, who's publicly clashed with Trump in the past and even suggested he might leave the country if Trump returns to office. For Habib, Khan's departure would be, in his words, a blessing. So, what would a second Trump term mean for Britain and the EU? Is it a nightmare as European leaders and Sir Keir Starmer seem to fear? Or, as Ben Habib suggests, could it be the shake-up that forces Europe and the UK to change course? Only time will tell, but one thing's certain, Trump's influence extends far beyond the United States and its impact could reshape the global stage. Thanks for watching. If you found this analysis insightful, hit that like button and subscribe for more content that keeps you informed about global politics and its impact on the UK. See you in the next video.